<laughs> to our amazing chef mm. for this excellent dinner. Yes, it was delicious. Thank you. It was perfect. And thank you to Paige for being my matron of honor. I love you so much, Paige. I love you too. And thanks to my best man for playing Cupid. If he hadn't let me win at pool that night, I might never have won June's heart. Facts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Time for the clafoutis. Let me help. Okay. I saw that. Mm hmm So did I. No, no, no. Tonight is about you and Tyler. Let's focus on that. She's right. Let's focus on you two. So, how has it been having him around for the last couple of days? Great. Yeah? Okay. Good. Both great and good and fun. But, but most of our relationship has been online. We've talked about our dreams. I just don't know that we've talked enough about things like starting a family or whether he'll be happy leaving his traveling life and staying put here. Trust me, it takes a lifetime to get to know each other. <laughs> but I, I think it's important to have those conversations. As our mom always said, all for love and love for all. all for all. I like that. <laughs> cheers. 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 All for love, all for us, we'll get through this. You always knew that the way would be all for love and love for all. Being married for 10 years is a big deal. It all happened so fast, like in a heartbeat. A lot of life happens in 10 years. Hence the big anniversary party. We did that 10 years with my sister. That is a big deal. <laughs> you know, I, I had an idea I wanted to run by you. Mm -hmm. I want to wear the same suit that I wore on our wedding day for our anniversary party. Honestly, I think that's the worst idea since Rompers for Men. It's going to be out of style. Yeah, but it's just a suit. Just a suit. Now, this will represent who you are today, not the Dan you were then. A lot's changed since your wedding day. Yeah, I guess you're right. No coffee for me, thanks. <laughs> First day of a new job tomorrow. Heartbridge Community Theater deserves to have me at my best. Well, they're so lucky to have you. Mm -hmm. Our father is one of their biggest supporters. He'll be very excited to hear that someone of your caliber is heading it up. Wait, is, is your dad Jimmy Clarkson? Mm -hmm, yeah, <laughs> one and only. <laughs> <laughs> cool, I'm a big fan. Mm. Well, uh, that's a curtain call for me, folks. Oh, before you go, wedding business, your tuxedo fitting Just is tomorrow. Just tell June all the details, and she'll let me know where to be. Well, I... Okay. Well, that was weird. Maybe he's still on touring company time. Might take him a little to adjust to Harper time. Or my time, it seems. <sighs> Thanks again so much for dinner. So good. You're so welcome. Is there anything you can't cook? Lamb. I really need to work on lamb. You're just a perfectionist. Get this for you. Thank you. Okay, come on, we gotta go. It's been great seeing Tyler and June together. Yeah. Getting to know them better as a couple. Yeah, never seen Tyler so in love. Mm. Thanks again. You're welcome. Okay, I'll see you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so here are just some of the love letters. Tyler would be so embarrassed if anybody saw these. These are going to be perfect for the love timeline, but don't worry, we'll blur out all the mushy parts. Yeah, we'll do some creative blurring. Okay, I trust you. 
Bye, I gotta get going. Bye. Okay, so the car company will pick up June's friend Marcy this afternoon, and then Tyler's company friends are arriving tomorrow. Did you send the welcome packages to the hotel? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. <sighs> it's kind of crazy just being the bridal party and organizing my own anniversary party. I may have added more stress on myself. I'm planning a surprise for Dan. That's so cute that the two of you still surprise each other. I love that. Yeah, he's not gonna like the surprise. Paige, no matter what people say, everybody loves a good surprise. I invited his mom. What? I sent photos of the girls to tempt her and she said yes. Surprise! That's a big one. Or a stupid one. I can't figure out which one yet. <sighs> Thank you for that. You know, I really think that June is gonna really need me this week. I'm getting the sense that she's starting to see the cracks in our perfect relationship. I mean, lovey-dovey phone calls and letters can sometimes mask imperfections. Yeah. He seems too good to be true. And do you really know someone if you've never lived in the same city? OK, great job, everyone. I'll see you next week. Wow, your own studio like you always dreamed. Yeah, can you believe it? It's pretty amazing, hey? I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I mean, owning your own business is a lot of work, but I love it. Well, you always were the stand-on-your-own-two-feet kind of person. I was always more the marrying kind. But now, here you are, the blushing bride. Never too late, huh? I can't wait for the bridal shower. I have so many games lined up. Oh, well, I guess 22 games might be too many. Hey. What are you doing home so early? I just finished up my florist, and I thought I'd stop in on my way back to the office. Well, this is a nice surprise. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Wait, is this a I've got bad news shoulder rub, or is this a we have some free time shoulder rub? Dan, um... Confession. I invited your mother to our anniversary party, and she said yes. That's funny. I thought it'd be a great opportunity for the girls to meet their grandmother. Wait, you're serious? Yeah, yeah, I no, thought... No, 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 wait. I, I thought I made myself perfectly clear how I feel about this. She worships my brother. I'm the black sheep. You know, I had to beg them to let me come to my own Teta's funeral, and they said no, because that would involve bringing you. I made my own choices. I chose you, and it wasn't good enough. And now you want to bring them into my home. It's been too long. Maybe it's time to mend fences. Dan, your mother has a heart. I mean, everyone does. I don't know. Look, since mom died, I've just been thinking it's important for the girls to know that they do have a grandma. We sent an announcement telling them that they became grandparents and they didn't respond. I'm pretty sure that's a clear enough signal. That was a long time ago. Somebody had to reach out, so it might as well be us. Hey, look at me. Time heals all wounds. Let me just be perfectly clear. My mother was not a fan of the Clarksons. Especially your father. People can change. Give her a chance. Welcome to my place. Uh, well, soon to be our apartment. So cute. That dinner was great. The wine was great. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to meet you, Marcy. You too. Mm -hmm. I think I'll leave you two to catch up. Good night. Okay, good night. I'm a big hugger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how are the kids? Oh, they love their swim meets. Too much damp chlorine for me, though. I can't believe you kept all these posters. That life seems so far away. You remember that production we did in Columbus? You were amazing in the lead. I was chorus, second row. There are no small parts, Mercy. Actually, there are. Don't kid yourself. You do know things will change after the wedding, right? You think Tyler and I are headed for problems? 
I just can't see a world traveler settling for a historic medium-sized heart bridge. He says he's ready to settle down for me. We're right for each other. Did he text you that? The eagle has landed. Ready? Mm-hmm. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. You call me Tata. These are for you. You can decide who gets which one. I don't really know what each of you likes. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. It's nice to see you, Mom. We're so happy you're here for our anniversary, Aaliyah. Hopefully your girls will behave themselves during the party. Some children get overexcited. Um, let me grab this. <laughs> Paige. Your husband should really be handling the luggage. Let me. Oh, just leave it there. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. Tata. What did you guys get? Charm bracelets, and they're beautiful. Oh, wow. These are very nice. Thank you. That was really sweet. Oh, goodness. It's the least I can do for my grandchildren. I see your brother Paul's kids all the time. Those boys are both top of their classes. You see them all the time? Of course. We fly there two or three times a year. Girls, go wash up before lunch. Dan will show you to your room. How's it going in here? Magical, as always, nothing less for June. Of course. Your final touches on dresses always bring them to the next level. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are these? Uh, it's nothing. I was thinking of showing them to Steven Hawson. See if I could excite my old mentor. Surprisingly, shockingly, time away from New York has helped breathe some new life into my designs. Your designs breathe? Yeah, they they breathe. They they sweat, they sneeze, they bleed. Does that hurt? More than I'd like. Ah, we're just in here. Ah, you're gonna want to keep the blinds drawn because in the morning the sun beats down pretty hot and it turns into a greenhouse. If it gets too warm, you can crack open the window, but use this spoon here to prop it open so it doesn't slam down on you. That won't be necessary. Well, those are your towels, and we share that bathroom across the hall. At your brother's house, I have my own bathroom. It's never an issue. We share a bathroom. Privacy is an issue. I can stay at the hotel? We looked into that, and the Hillshire is full to capacity. Huh. Nice to know that staying with you wasn't your first option. I'll let you get settled. for the coffee. Oh, my pleasure. I really need to talk to you about something. I'm sorry, Dan's mom just got into town. I've just been so busy. Not winning any friend awards, am I? I overheard you and Hannah the other day saying that I was rushing into marrying Tyler and that we couldn't possibly have gotten to know each other well enough online. I am so sorry. I, I, I totally overstepped. A bit harsh. But then I reluctantly admitted to myself that you might be right. No, 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 no. You two are in love. Anyone can see that. Yes, but maybe that is not enough. What if we don't fit together? What if the small things that we don't know about each other become the big things that destroy us? Here, drink some coffee and breathe. This would be my mother's advice. 
The two of you are becoming one. You're forming a foundation, a solid base with each other. Now, if you don't have that foundation, you can't build a home on it. Our foundation is based on lovely nighttime chats and watching Gene Kelly movies in real time. No serious conversations. Breathe. June's just a little nervous, but she's a smart woman, and Tyler is a very sweet guy, so I'm sure he'll figure it out. Well, every relationship lives or dies on communication. Am I right? Spoken from experience. Speaking of communicating, can we talk about my mother? I mean, she's already driving me crazy. I'm boarding that crazy train a little too. She's just, she's so negative, you know? Your house is not like your brother's house. There's a weird smell, you know? Sophie was born almost 10 years ago, and this is the first time she's meeting her grandkids, and she's supposed to be all about family? Yeah, you'd think in this day and age. Wait, what smell? I don't know. So I bought Hawaiian scented air freshener just in case. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe it's a generational thing, or maybe it's the cultural thing, but it's just like she's so unwavering with her beliefs and her values. I didn't think at this point in my life that I would still be caught up on it. But it matters. I'm so sorry I invited her without talking to you first. I just thought with our anniversary party that it'd be a great time for the girls to meet her. You don't need to apologize. Okay, I'm not gonna let her drive a wedge between us. Mm -mm. You and I are in this together, right? Team Karam? <laughs> Yep. Oh, let me show you this video from the morning. Oh, she's so tall. <laughs> Paige, I am very happy to help you with dinner. We can have a catch up. Actually, I do the cooking in this house. Yeah, I set fires in this house. I see. Very well. I'll rest until dinner. Yet again, he falls further down in the eyes of his mother. Mm. So thank you when she tastes your cooking and not mine. Oh, no, we all will. <laughs> and that is why I remain pool champion <laughs> of all time. OK, best five out of seven. If you insist, and if you enjoy losing that much, rack them up. I'm going to get us some more drinks. Isn't the loser supposed to pay? That's just bar etiquette. Traditionally, yes. But, uh, two more. We're celebrating your big lottery win. What's that? June. Yeah. Thank you. Man, you, you were a long shot. I lost so much money on bets because I thought for sure you were never going to get married. You bet against me? I didn't think it was going to happen. I adore Jane. She's the greatest thing that's happened to me bar none. But it's different now that I'm here and we're together every day. Different good or different bad? Different, not the same. I guess I'm just learning a new side of her, like what she loves to eat. Ah, Alan croissants after a 10 a.m. class. <laughs> what? I like to know my customers. My point is, I'm still getting to know my fiance. It's a little scary. Listen, um, maybe almond croissant beats cheese danish isn't the most important thing you need to know about her. True. I do know how to make her smile. I know that I want to be with her. And she makes me a better man. And, uh, you know you're in love with her? Yes, of course. Then figure out our favorite flowers and how many kids you both want, and uh, you're all set. You make relationships sound so easy. Odette, swan princess. 
Wow. I, I love it, James. Thank you. Quite possibly my best bridal party sketch, and you get the debut. Well, I am honored. Perfect. My matron of honor. <laughs> I brought this little dress with me. I thought it might match nicely. Well, Marcy, um, you know, if it, if it were a double wedding, then absolutely. But I was thinking maybe we would just reserve white for June. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just off the top of my head. Mm. How about this Ooh. Hassan original? A Hassan? <gasps> yeah. She like the newest housewife or something? So much for the Hassan original. I mean, to be fair, I did design like half of his mm -hmm. line, so. Mm. Heard it on the news, hits me from the side. Mother's crying out for babies trying to hide. You can turn it off, that doesn't mean it'll end. I can't, I can't do it. Get it off me. Get it's it off okay. me. It's okay, you're okay. Hey, just come sit down. Let's do some breathing. Okay. Ready? In. Two, three, four, out. Five, six, seven, eight, breathe. In. Two, three, four, out. Five, six, seven, eight. You're okay. I thought my panic attacks were over, over with my stage days. Mm. You've always been there for me, Mercy. Thank you. What is going on with me? Maybe you just need some time with Tyler. Talk to him. Tell him your concerns. June? Sorry, I really need to talk to June. And I really need to talk to you. Of course. Thanks. I am feeling a bit overwhelmed. I am feeling a bit overwhelmed. Okay. You go first. I'm scared. I'm scared that you've been on the road for so long that this settled down life will quickly feel like a mistake. I'm scared for me too. I work long hours. I'm so used to it being just me. I just do what I want, when I want. How do we even fit together? Do we even fit together? My turn. I'm scared. I'm a one duffel bag guy who only owns three pairs of shoes. I'm an adult person that has never had to do my own laundry or shopping because the company took care of everything. I am scared that I am not going to be able to be the husband that you deserve. You're an internationally renowned choreographer who has traveled the world. And now you're filling out grant applications and working in community theater. How was that a fulfilling life for you? Honestly, I don't know, but... Maybe this is all too rushed. Maybe it is. Great. Marcy will meet us at the shower. You love this work. 
I do, but I find the coworkers a little inappropriate. You'll have to talk to HR about that. A yeah, small problem, I think Paige made me HR. Yeah, exactly, so you'd manage your own complaints. <laughs> oh, no, Steven, I, I just can't handle more disappointment right now. James, grow up. This is Steven Hawson, king of the fashion world. Pick it up. Chicken sounds? Really? That's the best you can do? Steven! Hi, uh, how are things in New York? Still snarky? Much less since you left. Huh. The poorer for it. Here's why you have the pleasure of hearing my voice. Kendall was tired of getting your constant calls. I took pity on her and looked at your sketches. Thank you. Room for improvement, but I see promise. Coming from you, that's high praise. Bridal has always bored me, but your designs felt fresh. I appreciate it. You're going to be in New York on the 17th. If you're here anyway, you could work some runways at Bridal Fashion Week. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm in New York on the 17th. Good. Uh, when I'm there, could we discuss business? That's the point, James. A bientôt. Sally. Mr. Stephen Hoffman, you're a busy Sorry. man. So I'll be sure to keep this brief. I want you to be a part of the premium bridal journey. You're an in-demand designer. And for the next 12 months, I'm going to be taking this company national. As you should. People just can't stop getting married, although I don't know why. <laughs> you know, I was so tickled by our collaboration at the celebrity athlete's wedding. I mean, between your gowns and my everything else. <laughs> What can I say? We're a powerhouse team, Stephen. Well, we did lose that one to the Clarksons. Oh, that's all right. I mean, they need to feel good about themselves every now and again. <laughs> all right, well, I'll think about it. Just keep in mind, the rewards will be significant. All right, I'll call my people. <laughs> Bridal. Oh. Very good girls, keep your chins up. Chins up. That's almost it. At your ages, you should be preparing to be on point. Your parents should really be pushing you more. Hmm? Aaliyah, can I have a word? This certainly isn't the kind of discipline that should be taught to these girls. No, they're just kids. And learning all the skills that come with dance. They're free spirits. And when they get older, they'll be free to choose what they love and be confident to be whatever they want to be in the world. I knew that my Daniel marrying outside of our world would cause a rift that could never be repaired. OK, look, if you can't see to make things right for Dan and I, then please consider the girls. They, they just adore you. Dan and I think it's important that they know their family. And yes, understand a part of their heritage. Isn't that what you want? I mean, why else are you here? I came to meet my granddaughters, yes. And I thought Daniel was ready to apologize. <laughs> Dan, apologize. Dan was never like his brother. He always went against our wishes. Naturally, this embarrassed us in our community. And the last straw was when he rejected our family business. It was the ultimate betrayal. So yes. Daniel has a lot to apologize for. And I was a fool to assume that he would come to this realization himself. My husband is a good and decent man. He's the best man I've ever known, and an even better father. He works hard, and he cares about his community and his company. He has nothing to apologize for. Absolutely nothing. And I'm happy he chose me. No anniversary parties. Just too stressed out. Ugh. OK, so what's the tally? In one day, a probably canceled wedding, a canceled 10th anniversary party, and a canceled bridal shower. And I almost punched Dan's mom right in the mouth. Oh, good. You know, maybe we should all just let it out, start a, a bridal boxing ring. What would mom do? She would fight for love. OK, let's do that. Okay, I will work on June. Hannah, can you find Tyler? 
First, I need to call the airline car service and get that antiquated woman out of my house. <sighs> you are so lucky. <laughs> you did it. You found true love. All you have to do now is go find June and win her back. But how? Grand gestures. Grand gestures. Mm hmm I like that. Yeah. But what about you? What about me? Whatever happened to Ariana, she was the love of your life. Yeah, you're not wrong. She's good. She's running her own kitchen out of Lyon. It's good. Well, does she still have your ring? Yeah. There you are, Tyler. Paige wanted me to give you a message. Ty? Paige said you wanted to meet me here? Just a sec. Look, Tyler, if you called me here just to break it off, it's OK. I already know. Ty? Come with me. What's going on? <laughs> What's all this? It's so romantic. I want to be with you. I love you. I think I want a family. Kids? I can't wait. If they're as graceful and talented as you, they'll be perfect. And maybe we should find a place to live that's perfect for both of us. I thought I was moving in with you after the wedding. It'll make it feel like your home, too, if we get something new. My first home. Wow, that's scary, but exciting, too. <laughs> you know, for a couple of dancers, we haven't danced enough this week. <laughs> mm. gonna drop this here. Of course. This would have been an excellent bridal shower. I have a great catalogue of fun games, but alas, it is for naught. <sighs> would you like some wine? Uh, some sparkling water for me, thanks. <laughs> Paige, I'm sorry I've been a bit over the top. The truth is, I'm a little jealous of June. I mean, she always got the best parts. She has a great business and now a fantastic guy. But I'm sure you want what's best for her, no? Oh, no, I really do. And you know, I know I have a lot to be thankful for. I have some great kids. Hmm. And Richard, he's a really loving father, but I feel like he loves his sports more than me. Have you tried talking to him about it? No. I just run more up on the credit cards. How's that working for you? Not very well. Huh. It's June. Oh. Hey. What, it's back on? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Get yourself over here. You're not supposed to be hanging out with the groom the night before your wedding. Girls' night. Woo! <laughs> See you soon. <gasps> The wedding's back on, the wedding's back on. Whoa. It's hard to say, but you know when you found it, you didn't know that it's all you've been waiting for. For all these years. Okay, is everybody ready to go? Yeah? Your music. Okay, here we go. Okay. You're like a light, or you shine through the darkness. Take away the fear I've held inside. For all these years. 
You pick me up when I'm on the ground You give me strength when it can't be found After all these years We are gathered here today to join June and Tyler in their blessed union of marriage. I, June, take you, Tyler, to be my husband. I have waited my whole life for you, and finally you're here. I will dance with you every day for the rest of our lives. I, Tyler, take you, June, to be my wife. You've won my heart. You are my home. Let me be your refuge for the rest of our lives. Please exchange your rings. I now pronounce you husband and wife. And as you promise to share your lives, you may share a kiss as a married couple. Tyler, this is your first dance as a married couple. Now, considering you're both choreographers, this had better be good. <laughs> Thanks, Percy. Congratulations. Thank you. to Stephen. And? And he, like he said, he wants to collaborate. He could turn into something real. It's baby steps. Baby steps are good steps. Good. I just still have some business to take care of. I'm still on the clock. Is everything okay? Yeah. I guess I'm getting a weird vibe. I don't know if I'm ready for whatever it is that we're doing right now. I'm still grieving the loss of my mom. I have all these new responsibilities at work, so. And it's not fair to you. And it's not fair to me. I get it. Pancakes on the weekend, and they're awesome. I'm sure they're delicious, Sophie. But I need to get home. 
It's PJ time, girls. I wish it could have been different. But I still love you. Sophie, all of you Clarksons, even James. <laughs> <sighs> Let's do a potluck or something, invite everyone over. Mm. What about Christopher? That guy can cook. Or we can celebrate tonight, just the two of us. Let's go put the girls to sleep. Okay. It's love, you just, you know. But it takes work to build a foundation. And you have to build it with your partner on trust. And once it's solid, you can build a home on it. And a great home will last a lifetime. Words of wisdom from Mom. I'm just gonna say okay. Sure. Hannah. Thank you for this. Wait. For everything. This is all part of the planning service. Are you kidding? Zach and I wouldn't even be together. I mean, if you hadn't broken up with him. Yeah. Wasn't meant to be. And I never would have done my travel photography. Can you please all those years ago, that tiny little dorm? Who would have guessed that you would still be single? Planning my wedding. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> crazy. Cheers. <laughs> Toilet paper wedding dress game time. Who's up first? Do Hannah. Singles first. Give me that. All righty, let's go. <laughs> You're going to love it. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Candle, get James for me, would you? Candle, would you be kind enough to get James for me? Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't tell me to dial faster because it's ringing. I'm not. I'd like to speak with James Clarkson, washed up reality star and fashionista wannabe. I'm sorry, who's calling? He's not currently taking calls from ancient hack designers. <laughs> it's Stephen Hawson, rich, relevant, and handsome couture designer. Oh, well, in that case. Yeah, do better. Yeah, uh, I wanted to thank you for the consulting work you've done in the last few weeks. Oh, yeah. Um, what did you think of the, um, the bridal gown sketches I included in the package. Ah, bridal. I fear you are becoming attached to the gowns, but, you know, you've still got an eye that I can't seem to replace. That's very kind. I know you don't lower yourself to the bridal rung of the design ladder, but I thought you might enjoy the silhouettes I've been playing with. All that cheap tool has gone straight to your head. Maybe so. Listen, I'm coming to Heartbridge tomorrow to meet with a client. We should catch up. There's something big I need to talk to you about. What do you think? Full suit. Too much? 
You're asking me for fashion advice? Is the Congo freezing over? I'm gonna take that as no, James. A double-breasted suit is wildly chic, but you make it look casual. Why did Mom agree to do the Zach and Ella wedding? She knew our history. She knew it might be a little weird for me, no? Are you still into Zach? No, but they started going out so soon after I left. What if I never left? Okay, you can't go down that rabbit hole. Look at these two people. Zach and Ella are the perfect couple. I don't know how much longer I can deal with these perfect couples for. Hey, Christopher likes you. When are you gonna do something about that? Why do we all care so much about Christopher? Look in the mirror, you're just as single as I am. Actually, I just asked my crush out on a date. Which crush? Jonathan from the gym, if you must know. Well, not all of us can get to the gym all the time, so. We all need someone, Banana. What's wrong with not being in a relationship? <laughs> nothing, nothing, you're right. So long as that reason isn't you being afraid to put yourself out there. As if. I, I just want to hit the reset button. Where is your head these days, Hannah? You messed up the cake order. Sorry, Paige, I'll deal with it. You see what your subconscious did there, though, because now you're going to have to go back and see Christopher. I do not want to go back and see Christopher. I'm very confused about this whole relationship thing right now. Why? What happened? I overheard him talking about his ex-fiance. Sounds like she was the one that got away. He's hiding things from me. Hannah. Hey. Hey. Hey, the Ella and Zach cake is out of tier. The order was for five, but we need six. Yeah, I, I hope it's for a small one. Bigger? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I have all these cupcakes I gotta make after this is... Look, I'm sorry I screwed up the cake order. Am I in time to fix it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, coffee? I'm trying to cut back. So glad you could make it. Hi. Tracy Lett. Nice to meet you. Andrew Tucker. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Paige, we'll keep this brief. Andrew and I entered into a monogamous romantic relationship on Thursday, February 2nd, 2017. We were negotiating a timeshare schedule for a divorcing couple. They both wanted the yacht in August. My client got it. Andrew's argument was so meticulous. Tracy's closing statements were thoughtful, concise. It became immediately evident that the two of us would be unstoppable if we were on the same side. Both in business and for the rest of our lives. Today, Leg and Tucker is the top divorce firm in all of Hartbridge. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. We'd like to get married at the end of summer. Start of summer. The end is always too hot. Start of summer. The weather is always too unpredictable. July. Uh, perfect. July it is. It's great to have a couple who knows exactly what they want. More than anyone, we are aware of the divorce rate. We know the incredible financial burden. We've seen firsthand the stress that can be placed upon separating a lawful union. And we'd still like to get married. <laughs> That's very romantic. Now, we obviously have a prenup, complete medical histories, and compatible zodiac signs, not to mention agreed upon life goals and conflict resolution strategies. Now, we'd like to secure your wedding planning services. Uh, we've gone over your contract, and we've made a few small changes. Hey, I just landed. Thanks for coming all the way here. for love and love for all. Huh. Quaint. No, if it weren't for sentimental value, the place would be a complete teardown, but mm. there's something nice about being in my mom's space. Mm. This is hard to see when I mean, you're so comfortable here. I'm surprised you're not wearing sweatpants, really. Rude. I wouldn't be caught dead in sweats. I wear a couture to the gym. <laughs> you're a designer, James. This town just feels a little confining. I'm back to New York. I'm launching a bridal division. You can design your very own collection of gowns under one condition. It'll all be under the Hassan's label. <laughs> well, 
once James Clarkson is speechless. Uh, designing my own collection, it's the dream, but... But what? What can possibly keep you here? Nothing. No, it's just, um... Oh. My sisters. Won't you sisters want you to go back to the job that is worthy of your talents? Look, if you say yes, you need to be in New York first thing next week. Can you believe all of this? It's too much. It's all from Dad. Did he buy us bricks? No, that one's the crib. Oh, your dad got us a crib as a wedding present? That wasn't on the registry. Actually, it's a family heirloom. But Dad just sent it along with the other gifts. You already planning a baby's room? No, the clock is ticking for me, and I don't want to wait too long. You're going to be a great dad. <laughs> Elle, I don't know if I can be a great dad. Don't be silly. <laughs> of course you will. Mm, let's try for kids right away. Mm. Mm. It's only smart planning. Don't you think it's a bit too fast? No. I can't wait to be a mom. <laughs> Ella. You are going to be the best mom. But this, it's a lot. You know, Dad just wants the best for us. Come here. Everything's going to be fine. Mm. I love you. Mm. You sure some of that candy actually makes it to the dessert table? <laughs> Christopher can add the tear. That's great. Sisters need to talk. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm just here for a shoot change. I need to run to premium bridal. Oh, fraternizing with the competition? No. Sally has a business degree and a major in contract law, and I need some major help with this couple. They're both lawyers. Careful with Sally. She's always out for blood. Suddenly, her background in law makes a lot more sense. Hey, you guys want to come over for dinner tonight? Dan's old friend Jack is in town, and we're going to order in. Wait, Jack, the homeless guy? He is not homeless. He lives in a converted van. Apparently, he has a successful travel blog. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Something to chew on before dinner. Stephen flew in to offer me a job designing my own bridal collection. While I am reviewing his offer, I'll be flying to New York right after the wedding on Saturday. See you later. Oh, wait, what? what? He just gets to leave? Oh. We'll talk to Nate. Oh. <sighs> um, I may have made a big mistake. Grim to be doesn't usually shake his head when he's looking at happy photos of himself and his fiance. Well, I may have a deal breaker. What did Ella do? No, not her. Me. I might not be able to have kids. What do you mean by might? Played soccer as a kid and um, had a major accident, uh, you know, there. And uh, the doctors told my mom it could be bad. So you don't actually know? I thought it'd be something we can work through, you know, later. You can't get married without telling the truth. Especially to Ella. You know she's all about having kids, right? And what if she doesn't want to marry me? Then that's for Ella to decide, Zach. You can't hide things from people. My mom didn't tell me she was dying of cancer in order to protect me. And you know what? It didn't work. She's still gone, and I'm still devastated and alone. If she had told me, I could have decided how I wanted to move forward with my life and how I wanted to say goodbye to my mother. <sighs> you have to tell Ella the truth. Divorce lawyers. <laughs> no kidding. Definitely no kidding. 
And they were so straight-faced about the whole thing. Well, I mean, it's kind of refreshing, don't you think? <laughs> right? I mean, to have all your cards on the table like this? No surprises. <laughs> Paige? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking of... James dropped a bomb on me. He might be going back to New York. Well, it was inevitable, right? Well, things were going so well, I just thought he'd stay. Why don't you come by tomorrow for the contracts? Thank you. I owe you one. Sally. <gasps> Steven. No touching. Did you secure our angel investors? <laughs> Straight to the point, as always. Well. Of course. I mean, we are well prepared for our fall launch. Hey, okay, let's talk numbers. James, I'm afraid that this week you're a fashionosta. No, it was him. <sighs> Sing you a song, play you a tune in my affection. Hey. My little way hey. to make you smile. Will this be for coffee and conversation, or is this just another? and a close encounter. No, I'll have coffee and a muffin, please. Good choice. There you go. You, uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm... I'm just feeling a little disillusioned by the job, I guess. Not so in love with love at the moment. Ah. Well, I hate to say it, but you might be in the wrong business. I overheard you talking the other night. <sighs> Hannah, I, uh... I do! Oh. Come here! Wow. Come on. Look, Christopher, he proposed! <laughs> Can I just get one minute? I'll be right back. They're friends of mine. Yeah, sure. Yes. What's the universe reminding me that I'll likely die alone? Being alone doesn't mean you have to be lonely. Jack. Hey, Hannah Banana. It's just Hannah now. Oh, sorry. Hannah. Oh. <laughs> you know, you could live for a week in Thailand for the price of one of these fancy coffees. So you've been to Thailand? Lived there for a few months. Go back in a heartbeat. But there are too many incredible places on this planet I need to see first. Paige was telling me you have a travel blog, and it's doing really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do it for the followers, though. No, no, no. There's a lot of people living a nomadic life right now. Yeah, it's a whole community. That sounds perfect. I guess, yeah. Self-sufficient, off the grid. Just me, my podcast gear, and my hybrid van, Betsy. Your van is named Betsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Betsy and I have spent a lot of time together. We've driven as far as Belize. Slept under meteor showers, gotten lost in the desert. Oh, I got lost in the Congo once. You got lost in the Congo. And I did. You, go. you you got to tell me about that. Maybe one day. <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Hey, can I get you anything else? Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks, man. I'm doing great. Actually, I'll take my coffee to go, please. Anna, we um we need to talk. Yeah, later. <laughs> Jack. Bring it in, brother. Look who it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> good to see you. Man, the nomadic life looks good on you. Ah, thanks. Look who I bumped into. I barely recognized her after 10 years. 
I'll let you two catch up. I'm gonna head out. Oh, Paige said you were coming by for dinner tonight? Yes, I think I will. Nice. Anna. Thanks. Uh, I would love to catch up later. Yeah, looking forward to it. Over here. Sounds good. Let's get in. Thanks. That is not the face you should be making if you are looking at what I am looking at right now. <sighs> These shoes are killing my feet. Oh, just um, wear them around with some damp socks this evening. That should stretch them out a bit. Well, that solves my shoe issue, but not my Zach issue. I don't know what's going on. Every time we talk about starting a family, he bails out. You know, everyone gets really stressed around weddings. And I know that when Zach was talking with Hannah here, they- What? Zach was here. When? As soon as I remove the foot from my mouth, I can assure you- You know that they dated, right? I knew this was a mistake as soon as Marguerite wasn't able to do my wedding. You know, I'm... I'm sorry about your mom. But it's my wedding day tomorrow, and Zach is acting so strangely like he's hiding something from me with your sister. You know, this, this fitting is over. I just wanted to clarify something about married life. I mean, it, it's, it's good, it is. It's got ups and downs, but it's good, yeah. You're really selling it to me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Paige and I were in love, and <laughs> the kids, they're the best. It's just, we've been having a rough couple of months, you know? Well, how'd Paige take the news of the new job offer? I haven't told her yet. She's been so happy and confident at work, and. Her and I are getting a groove back again, and I just, I didn't want to ruin it. Man, you gotta take that job. It's on the West Coast. Oh, well, maybe Paige will go with you? I don't think she'll abandon the company. Well, there's planes, there's telephones, video calls. You two can make it work. Look, I hate seeing you like this, man. This is an incredible opportunity for you. You should be celebrating. Life is too short. Not to follow your dreams. You have no idea how far down the list your dreams go when you become a father and a husband. Yeah. No, brother, I do not. And I do not intend to. Is there something going on between you and Zach? What? No, that's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It's the plot of several rom-coms. You guys have a, a history and a familiarity. L. L. I swear, there is nothing going on between the two of us. For what it's worth, I'm actually having dinner with a very handsome guy tonight. <sighs> You look really pretty. Thanks. Actually, do you mind? Oh. Thanks. Well, if it's not you, then it must be me. I think he's having second thoughts about getting married. He's acting really weird. Suddenly the idea of having kids with me is freaking him out. What if he doesn't want to have kids? Al, take a deep breath. Oh. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just a stress ball of insecurity right now. It's just, having a family has always been my dream. You know, I can't wait to be a mom. Al, you gotta talk to Zach. The two of you have an amazing connection. I know in my heart that he loves me. And I know that he's the right one for me. <laughs> Come here. Love you. So happy. 
coffee for you. Thank you. You know, you're really good at this whole wedding planner thing. Mm, I try. <laughs> Christopher? Cupcakes? Listen, um, today at the cafe you wanted to talk about us, but we got interrupted. Yeah. You said, I'm not in love with love right now. And that really I, broke my heart a little. And when I think about you, I, I lose my words. My knees get weak, I get nervous, I do stupid things, I... Man, you, you, you manage to fluster me and ground me all at once, it's, it's kind of annoying. I like you, Christopher. I really like you, and that terrifies me. I overheard you talking about your ex-fiancé, the love of your life. It sounds like she's the one who got away. We went to culinary school together. Um, for a long time, it worked well. Until I realized that um, the only thing we had in common was our love for cooking. That's a lot, though. You love your career, your business. I wanted more than a kitchen. I wanted more than a business partner. I wanted, I wanted this, I wanted real life between us. I'm sorry, I can't do this right now. This is way too complicated. I'm still missing my mom. I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. Plus this. All right, Hannah, I know. Christopher, you don't know. I'm sorry. Life is too much right now. I can't do whatever this is. You know what? I'm sorry, too. I, I feel like you're keeping something from me. And I know it's not Hannah. No. And I know I was a little over the top about wanting to have kids right away. And that might have scared you. No, I'm not scared. Then what is it? I don't know if I can have kids. Yeah, after you. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm thinking of driving down to Argentina after. Yeah? Betsy can handle that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Betsy can handle it, for sure. Love to introduce you to after dinner. Yeah, I'd love that. All right. Hannah, how was your cake meeting at Bay Panini? Uh, it was okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay, then. Here you go. Oh, thanks, bud. How long are you sticking in town for? Are you flirting with Jack? Yum, but what about Christopher? Things were less complicated in the jungle. This guy? Yeah, yeah, pass it this way. Yeah, and I think we got pepperoni here. There you are. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Uh, take one of these. I've been running circles, but you don't walk away. Am I the problem you've been waiting for to fix me up someday? There's something so perfectly simple about this. Yeah. And anytime you feel beckon to move on forward, you just hop in the driver's seat and away you go. How do you know if you're being beckoned towards something or running away from something? Well, you gotta really listen. 
That's not good. I'll be right over. Thanks. Everything okay? Yeah, sorry, I, I gotta go. Nah, it's fine. Can I call you later? Totally. Beckon me if you want some adventure. Will do. Well, I'm telling you now. But I don't understand. We've talked about this multiple times. You told me that you wanted to have children with me. I do. I just don't know if they could be my biological children. What? And so you won't know until you take this test? Yes. So why haven't you taken this test before? I was ashamed. Worried about the results. What if you don't want to marry me anymore? <sighs> you know, regardless of the results, there are many ways to have a family. Creating a family may be easier for other couples, but that in no way puts it out of your reach if that's what you truly want. With love. With true love. Anything is possible. I'm so relieved Zach and Ella worked it out. What did you want to tell us, James? I'm accepting Stephen's offer. So that's it? You're just leaving us? Steven is trusting me with the entire collection. Do you trust him? Yes. Yeah, of course I do. I'm trusting him with my whole career. Steven is working with Sally. You're designing an exclusive collection for Premium Bridal. Our top competitor. No. Yes, yes, James! That's what you're doing! That's not what's happening, Steven would have told me. You don't need Steven. What are we actually doing here? We all agreed to work to continue mom's legacy, but at what cost? Thanks, Pastor Evan, Zach, and Ella are getting married tomorrow, and I'm gonna give them their perfect day. James, if you can do the prep, that would be great. Hannah, just take the day off. I'll do the rest on my own. Secrets hurt. And we need to choose which ones we'll share and which ones become our burden. I'm sorry. And I hope that you all can forgive me. If you look at the details on this cake, they match the flowers in the room. This is so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This is going to be perfect for us. So glad. Chef Benadryl, 
Your sugar work is exquisite. Thank you. It's exactly my sugar work and your high-end clients that will put us on the front page, just like you asked. And it is oh, precisely the kind of exposure that my investor demands, and exactly the kind of artistry that my beautiful brides deserve. I will start on the contracts today. Ah, beautiful. Well, this is low, Sally. Even for you. Stealing my bride and groom. Hannah and James warned me about this. It was stupid to trust you. And you. We had an agreement. No. We never signed on the dotted line. and a plane to catch, but Ella... Uh, Ella is... Ella's what, James? Hey, I totally heard what you said last night, but we have a terrified bride. Ella? Is she okay? No, I, I have, I've never seen a bride so upset. I'm, like, frozen. She won't let us help her get ready. Oh, no. Okay, make her some chamomile tea. She always loves that. I'll be right over. <sighs> Thank you. You are the bride whisperer. I'm also her friend. Don't you have a wedding to be getting ready for? I just needed time to think. Zach may not be able to have children. But Al, Zach is such a great guy. And family is what you make it. Oh, I really do love him. Since we started dating, Zach has always been there for me. He and my dad are the most important people in my life. You're right. Family is what you make it. <laughs> Zach and I will just figure everything out. I think I'm ready. <laughs> I thought I'd never find my way You showed me kindness Now I can see the light of day I knew we'd be okay There were moments when I didn't know which way to go Then I'd hear your voice I knew I'd never be alone That brings me home You said We'll get through this You always knew that the way would be all for love And love for The past few days have reinforced everything I know about you, Ella. You are the kindest, most loving person, and I promise to spend the rest of my life loving you. Zach, I love you. I'm so excited to share my heart with you every day for the rest of my life. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for us, together. 
Exchange your rings, please. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may share a kiss. Another perfect wedding from the playbook. Thank mm you -hmm. for this. Okay. I love you. Thank you for the last couple of months. I, uh, I really needed it. <laughs> I hate that you have to go. <sighs> that staying and design dresses here for our brides, so you can create a collection with us. You'll be glad to know this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. <sighs> well, you're going to be amazing no matter what. You, you know, remember, be brave with that heart. New York awaits. <laughs> you have more courage than you think you do. I love you. Do me a favor. Return the trays to Christopher. I can handle it from here. What are you doing here? I didn't think that you wanted to. I brought your trace. Oh. And an apology. I was horrible to you, and you didn't deserve that. We just need plates, right, honey? Yeah. Let me guess. Your page? Christopher said he catered a beautiful wedding for you today. He said you do a lot of beautiful weddings, actually. Uh, this is Hannah, uh, Paige's sister. And uh, this is Ariana. <laughs> She's in town to teach a, a master class. Yeah, our uh, favorite culinary instructor is executive chef at the Harrington Royal Hotel here. And I'm just catching his juniors up on sauces. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> That's great. Yeah, she's only here for, you're only here for, what, a couple of days? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've missed these. Mm. Your buttercream is like silk. <laughs> it was so lovely to meet you, Ariana. Okay. So excited for this. I'm starving. I just want the very best for each of you, whatever that may be. Right. Do you want to grab a drink? I hear Argentina has a really good for love and love for all.
darkness I thought I'd never find my way You showed me kindness Now I can see the light of day I knew we'd be okay There were moments when I didn't know which way to go Then I'd hear your voice I knew I'd never be alone It brings me home You said Oh, for love, oh, for us, we'll get through.